Good morning, everybody. It is June 4th, 2020, and I've got some news. <laughs> What's that over there? What? Hello! We've won the gold for the Telly Social Media Video Award. Tickety boo! And we go. Hey, buddy. And I just want to say thanks to everybody who voted. Thank you very much. And also for the incredible people that are involved in this from, say, Ollie, who went out and filmed with me, and Zoot, and John, and Kat, and Kat and all the people that make it possible, but also for the individuals that go out and work with Operation Smile that make these missions so special. Um, we have the, we have the, um, we're incredibly fortunate that we get to go out and visit these patients in their home villages and get to experience what their lives are like. And it's, um, it's incredible. And it's amazing to be able to make the films, to be able to share a little bit of that with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just incredibly grateful. So thank you guys very much. And if you haven't seen the video, I'm gonna put a link below so you can take a look at it. It's great. Enjoy. Oh, you noticed the shirt. Well, it looks like bumblebees, doesn't it? But it's not. It's actually mountain climbers. Wearing one of my favorite suits of all time, a down suit. Check that out. Ooh, so good, so good. Glasses and this ring light, so irritating. I just get a little ring in my glasses as a reflection. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to use these. We're gonna have to do it like this, face to face, eye to eye. Boom, boom, boom. Is this what your day looks like? This is what my day looks like every single day. I just want to give a shout out to all you allergy sufferers out there from grass to trees. Oh, it is so irritating. And people who don't have allergies, come on, be sympathetic. You have no idea. It's like razor blades in your throat, razor blades in your eyes, just all gunked and glued in there. Ugh, it's horrible. So, shout out to all you allergy sufferers out there. I feel you. I feel you. All right, team, it has arrived and it is ready to do what it is meant to do, which is organize, scan, and import lots of photos. Ready? Yeah, on second thought, I can't actually open it yet because I don't have any photos that aren't organized. Hmm. So, I've called my mom. My mom is gonna send me some photos of when I was a wee little boy from 1980. And we're gonna get sorting those pretty quick, but I gotta wait for that package. So we're gonna have to wait. Did you give me questions last week? No, no you didn't. Are you gonna give me questions this week? Yeah. Great, <laughs> send them through so I can answer them. Come on, woo, I've got an idea. All right, I've been using these things for years. Don't know if you do, I do, they're great. You write down some notes, doodle them down, cross them out, it's handy. But um, I wanna use these for portraits. So I've got my book binder creating things like this. Customized, really nice with end sheets like this from a trip we did in Antarctica. And what I'm gonna do is fill these instead of with line pages with portraits that are printed from various places on the planet. And then I can either write it in where I was or sticky note or whatever, but just a way of getting things printed. New project, super excited. Inspired by these, which every time I go on an Abercrombie and Kent trip, they send these things out as a personal itinerary. So it's got where we're going, a little checklist, destination information, which is handy, contacts, great. It's a really nice little added piece of value they bring to the table um, when you're packing. When you go traveling, do you shop? I don't shop because I don't like to shop. But I'm finding now, as I'm making these photos and these lie flats, I wish I'd shopped for like little trinkety things like this stuff. Like things that I would never ever use. I'd never use this. It'd literally just go in a box or go on a shelf and then go in the bin or go to a charity shop. But I'm finding now that I need it for a bunch of the photographs that I'm taking. So now, when I travel, I'm gonna start buying some trinkets and some swag so I can do stuff like this. I love this stuff. I mean, I use it when I do, say, scrapbooking, when I kept everything and then I put it all in a book. But now I'm trying to take photos of things and it's nice to have little swaggy, trinkety ding bobs like this. I'm gonna buy more stuff. Are you with me? Yes. Stuff. I love stuff.
All right, photographer, filmmaker, friends of mine, I'd love your input on this. When you go out and you're photographing and filming for a job, and then you come home, do you want to pick up the camera? I don't, and I am really bad at picking up the camera around the house, family, kids, interaction, moments, all that stuff. I'm notoriously bad at it. So I'm gonna change my ways. And I'm gonna change my ways because my brother-in-law, Chris Caldwell, shout out, um, is really good at it. And it drives me bonkers that he's got amazing photos of his kids, and I don't. And I'm gonna do better at this. Um, I've been following a couple things on Instagram, like Camera Mama, um, and you troll through a bunch of those photos, and they're amazing. Um, so I'm gonna pick up my camera more frequently when I'm home. This bad boy is gonna be in the kitchen, and I'm gonna use it more. And I challenge you guys to do the same. I know it's not something you wanna do when you come back from a job, but the times that I do it, I'm grateful that I did. So uh, I'm gonna have to probably buy some bells and whistles, pack it on me, and just force myself to do it. Um, yeah, happy snapping. I obviously photograph and film things, videos go out, great. But when they go into print, I just love them that much more. So photos like these ones, awesome little photo shoots we did. There's really cool stories behind all of it, but I never really feature it. I never really talk about it. So I'm debating on whether I put it in stories or whether I just do a little write up on it. Let me know your thoughts, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. Uh, I was installing my desk the other day and I found out that we can put these casters on pretty much anything. And now on my desk move. Yes. Yes. All right, guys, I'm pretty embarrassed. Last week I was working on that map. Didn't show you, but I got halfway through and I ran out of red. And I was like, I'll just shift the blue, no biggie. Did it in blue. Don't like it in blue. So I went out and got myself a new ribbon. We've got premium quality double face satin three mil ribbon. We're gonna have to redo it. Taco burrito, folks. That's a wrap. We are out of here. I will see you tomorrow. You have a marvelous day. Pick up the phone, call your family and friends, and I'm out. Peace.